Oh, hey, getting out of the car right in front of one of my favorite Goodwills. We don't really come here often enough, to be honest. We're gonna probably just do one Goodwill today and then go home and work on some stuff. It's gonna be fun, stick around. Video games I've seen here in a while. Hold on to that. Table tennis. Actual tennis. All right, it is pretty abysmal in the jean section today. There's like nothing. But, uh, you know, that's okay. These might work for something. $9 is kind of a lot, but um, maybe we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Hey, Hannah, you need some Nick Fury? <laughs> this is a lot of Nick Fury. That's all of Nick Fury. That's crazy. There must be a hundred of them. If those all came to life, this Goodwill would be very protected. Very, very well protected. <laughs> Not a lot else toy-wise. Uh, Yondu, Drax, Maleficent. Also Nick Fury. Surprise. <laughs> kind of slim pickings at this goodwill today but there are some games i need so that's not bad we'll play some table tennis okay i guess you think it could possibly be as good as the wii is there ping pong on wii sports there is isn't there no, it's, it's just like tennis. on wii sports resort i think okay i feel like i remember that i think one of my favorite things about goodwill is seeing other people's diy projects check this dresser out someone put a lot of love in this nice little detail little Little splash on the knobs, some galaxy things going on on the top, some comets on the side. Somebody really liked this thing. But I'm guessing it was probably like a teenager and they moved out of their house and mom's like, get rid of it. Today, we've got a little bowl with a stand. These are cute. Some tiny wildflower bowls, which are very nice. They're a little expensive though. I kinda wanna get some of this print for my personal use. I've got some of the blue cornflower at home, but I kinda wanna collect that, that pattern instead. Nice pattern. 849's a little high for that, so we're not gonna do that. This is pretty. Cute little cake stand. Some things, but nothing I like need. So. I will. Gonna get a couple video games. You're gonna get some jeans. And we've gotta go home and get to work. We wanna go to some more thrift stores, but we've got a pretty big order of custom jeans to go out. And we've been slacking. We haven't been slacking, we've just been focused on other things. But today we gotta go home and get to work. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do it. Is this what you needed? Yes. Okay, good. We, we were one pair short, this Goodwill came through. Yay! Goodwill can come through when you need it to. Well, actually I don't love it, but I need a yellowish tie for my yellowish suit, so right. it's better than nothing. Alrighty. Post office stop real quick, if I can get this thing open. One for you, one for me. All right, let's drop these off, see if there's anything in the P.O. box, and then we'll go home. If I can get my face mask on with one hand. You can do it. This is not attractive. Let's check it out. Oh crap. A slip and a package. <laughs> this is from Rocket City Trash Pandas. Best name ever. <laughs> who, who am I killing with these scissors? Is that supposed to be you? This lovely drawing is from Joanne. I almost died. I almost <laughs> went over my Prius because I was so excited about this drawing. I gotta bake that to a sticker. Here's what's going on at the house today. 
and it's printing out labels for some jeans that have to go out. Now look, this is gonna look like madness. Jeans everywhere. There's a little bit, there's a little bit of control to this madness. Basically, things are getting filtered up uh, till they're done and then ready to be packaged and sent out. But basically what I've been doing today, where's my seam ripper? Do you have it? Uh, what did I do with it? You've lost it. <laughs> We've lost this thing like five times. Oh God. We, listen. We have bad habits just like everyone. One of our worst habits in the world is that we go through seam rippers like they're cubes of ice. They just melt. <laughs> I have like six of them, but I can't find any of them. Well, it's usually, and it's usually me. It's my job. I'll, I'll rip off pockets and cut up jeans and, and then she'll sew them and we kind of assembly line them. And, uh, but we keep, we keep losing it. However, I, at the time the camera's rolling, you lost it. <laughs> I did. I think it's in the bedroom. Okay, well, I'll find it. But there's just so much going on right now. Today's video is going to end up being a little light in substance. Uh, we just, you guys know we've been traveling a lot. Uh, you know, we bought our bread truck, went on a couple trips, bought our smart car, went on some trips, and now at the end of all that, we're just a little bit behind. So today just has to be a work day. I do want to show something off though. I really shouldn't show this. It's, it's, I mean, it's not a big surprise, but I just got my Beyblade shirt in the mail. Uh, I'm making a Beyblade video for our other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. Kind of working on some of that today too, in between pairs of jeans, basically while she sews. I'm, I'm running to the other room recording. Here, let me show you real quick. <laughs> this looks kind of rough, but yeah, I've been I've been battling myself in Beyblade because I'm a grown adult and I make YouTube videos. Uh, but how much more do we have to get done before we can go? Did you find it? I found it! Okay, well, how much more you gotta get done before we can go? Um, there's one more that we can get out today and then food time. Okay, yeah, pretty much uh, the shipping place the post office what i could not think of the word post office when the post office closes that's pretty much our deadline we're trying to get as many out a day for the next couple of days before that before the post office closes so we've got a handful of them to take today hannah you want to see what a basket full of beyblade looks like sure that there is a bag full of launchers that there's another bag full of launchers. That there's a full bag, two gallons of launchers. That there's a full two gallons of Beyblade. It's a lot of Beyblade. I gotta sneeze. Ooh, COVID. That's <laughs> true. Oh my gosh. That was a banana sneeze. Are you dead? Oh, it didn't feel good. I bet. My upper body hurts now. I'm almost done with this pair. And then we're ready to go. Um, sure. What are we gonna eat? I know, what do you want? Didn't somebody send us a, a gift card on mail time the other day? Oh, they did! Taco Bell. We're doing Taco Bell. Taco Bell night. You got a gift card. You got to go to Taco Bell. What do you think, Moo? Taco Bell? You want some? You want some Taco Bell? You don't like us being home this much, do you? Normally, we're out all day thrifting. Cut that short day and we're home. And she's like, go away let me sleep. You're going to have to put up with a couple days. We got a lot of work to do, baby doll. Ooh, look, listen to those purrs. She likes it. Think back everything I said. She's happy we're home. Are you sure you want me to close it? Pants is gonna be really mad. We leave the we leave the window cracked so Pants can uh, observe the outside. But it's really hot now in Phoenix, so sorry, buddy. He's mad. He's not looking at me. Okay, well, so this room's kind of a wreck right now. One, because we've got so many jeans to tear through. But the other reason is I've been doing some serious organization. That's why those Beyblades are all organized. The Beyblades were twofold. I'm working really hard on this Beyblade video. Uh, but the other thing is, you see this pile of cables here? I've been going through the whole house and slimming down just a little bit. Uh, really good example. I probably could have filled two two gallon bags with two prong power cables. So this is what your PlayStation 2 powers off of. This is what a lot of your consoles power off of. And I just had too many. Uh, you know, you come home with these things with every device you buy. And I, for a long time, had this habit of picking them up when we go to the Goodwill bins and making sure I have enough of them, but it was just getting ridiculous. So I basically went from about 10 of those crates that you saw my Beyblader in to one Ikea bag. And this is pretty much every extra cable in the house except for those, that's what's left. That's my video cables. I'm lying, I've got some audio cables that need to go in here too, but I should be able to get that down to one two gallon bag. And then my audio cables the same. And I'm just gonna store that away in the closet or the storage unit until I need it, because it's been taking up too much room. But we're kind of 
paring down this room, this storage room, and condensing stuff like that so that there's more room for our jeans. It won't have to be so messy in here with the jeans when we have some table space to lay it out on and stuff like that. That's, you know, that's what's making money right now, so it's what's important. So today, you know, as much as we need to get these jean orders out that we're slightly behind on, I need to also make this room make more sense. So that's why, you know, I'm cutting a pair. She's sewing them while she's sewing. I'm working on the other projects, and then I'm coming back and we're we're getting it done. Uh, we gotta go get some tacos. Whoa. You hungry? I'm hungry. those pockets the last bit just got to do the little the Levi tab and we're good to go all right time for the tab time for the tab switching colors though oh you're switching color thread the perfect color Levi gold thread how did you come across that the thrift store oh really it's vintage that's funny <laughs> but it's like really good yeah, well, that's what matters. You gotta, you gotta test your thread, and then you gotta test it every once in a while as you dwindle it down. If you buy it used, not really something we recommend, but it's fine. You know, good thread when you see it. She's a good one, and she's perfect. Oh, did you do that first try? I did. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I've done this a few times. <laughs> I'm so bad at thread the needle. <laughs> I don't know what it is though. Every now and then, it'll be like once in a blue moon, hand will be like, Dallas, come here. Be like what? She's like thread this needle. I'm losing my mind. I can't do it today. <laughs> you did it just fine today. I did. Steady as she goes. Hey Hannah. Hey what? Were we just talking about Taco Bell? Yeah. Comment below if you remember these hanging in Taco Bells a few years ago. They've all mostly remodeled now and they have new artwork, but there's still a few of them left out there. Snagged a set of them at the Goodwill Bins for posterity's sake. I love them, they're my favorite. All right, are you done with it? I believe so. Let me do uh, the QC. You know the QC? I don't know what that stands for now. Quality control. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not that Hannah doesn't know what she's doing, but here's what happens, and we've both learned this the hard way. You spend so much time staring at something, and you think it looks fine, you gotta get a fresh pair of eyes on it. Just make sure the lines aren't crooked. These are custom jeans we make. It's not really the best pair of shell. Yeah, hit me with some light. You see they're two-tone, darker and lighter. Is it is it dark black and light black, or do you call that gray? I call it stone wash. Stone wash. Yes, it's, it's light gray. But it's multiple pairs of jeans sewn together call it color blocking you'll see a lot of videos we do where hannah she'll refer to it as color blocking she'll bring home jeans and just say i'm gonna use these for color blocking and i know a lot of people a lot of new people show up on this channel and they're gonna be like well what's color blocking so we're trying really hard to just stop saying color blocking and say our custom jeans because not everyone's gonna know but those are good we're good to go let's go eat you think they'd be weird if i walked into taco bell with my paintings I'd be like can I have for free? I have paintings. <laughs> how many, how many fresh pair of jeans do you have to drop off at the post office? Three packages, four pair. So somebody ordered two? Oh, that's not bad. All right, we'll take those in and then we'll go get food. Sounds good. It feels good to get those jeans out now instead of in the morning. Pretty much because tomorrow we're probably gonna wake up, finish a few more pairs before we can go to the post office and get a few more out before the day tomorrow. It's just gotta happen. Got to get them done. Got to get caught back up so we can take another trip. We can't leave town again until we're pretty much entirely caught up. So that's kind of the point of today's video. It's why this has to be done. We're trying to scoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not looking at my leg, are you? Cover it up. <laughs> it's kind of hanging out, wasn't it? Showing off that Power Ranger shirt. Bro. Please. I'm not sure how much is on there. Okay. Still need 317. You want me okay. to throw it away? Uh, yes. Now there's, there's plenty. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Yeet! Yeet! I get my morning orange juice at McDonald's. 
they stopped uh, they stopped having a trash can outside of our McDonald's at the drive-thru, so now I can't throw yesterday's orange juice away. Not ideal, not convenient, McDonald's. Put the trash can back. I'm gonna stand outside and boycott them. Don't eat this McDonald's till they put the trash can back. <laughs> I can't pop my seatbelt. I feel like you have better things to do than stand outside McDonald's and yell at people. Like what, make jeans? Yeah. I, it's taken me five minutes to put my seatbelt on. To like learn how to put on a seatbelt. That's something you need to do. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't go to learn to put your seatbelt on school. <laughs> All right, let's go home, let's eat, and we get back to work. Nailed it, Sarah. Just like I always nail our sponsor segues. I have eaten all the Taco Bell and now I'm picking more jeans. It's actually not that hard to take pockets off of jeans except for the very, very tip top of the pockets right here. It's double, triple stitched in. It's just not easy to do. Plus this pair that I'm currently doing, it's a little bit older. So they're a bit brittle, you can just tell you can just kind of tell by feeling it. So I need to not poke any extra holes in with this. How many more we got left, Hannah? After this one or including this one? Oh, how many pairs or how many pockets do you have to <laughs> How many pairs? Uh, three. Three more pairs. I'm trying to go easy on it because what happens is I try to go too fast and by the end of it, my hands are cramped up. Hannah makes me do the grunt work. I love you. That's, I mean, it's not even true. She does the skilled labor part. The part that takes coordination. Just leave me to the Dallas work. Can we call this Dallas work? Yes. I'm trying so hard to be careful. I don't want to poke a hole in these. Don't Hulk smash. Come on now. Once you get it started, the rest comes off easy, but I ripped it a little. All right. Just a little. This is like my sixth pair. I haven't ripped one yet. It's all right though. She can usually hide my crimes because these are hard. Lol. There we go. All right. So now once it's started, I can just kind of peel most of the rest of it off. It's just where it's double tacked in that it sucks. The red Levi tab. And then kind of again with the hard part, but it's not so hard on the second one because you can get underneath of it. Those are next. Now onto the other pocket. Don't Half clap for me. Halfway done. <laughs> And then this pair? Yeah. And that's it? And I'm no longer your slave? For now. What? That's not a yes or a no. I don't know if I have an answer for you. I'm almost sweating sitting here watching Linus Tech Tips and taking pockets and waistbands off jeans. Look, no waistband, completely gone. That's what Hannah asked for. Now we can deliver. Hello, Toby. Mighty Pantar. Uh, here you go. Did you finish him? Yeah. Yay, thank you. Good luck with your sea of jeans. <laughs> okay, we accomplished two major things today. And the first one is we finished about how many pairs of jeans? Around eight. Or we'll finish eight when, you, you haven't finished the last pair, but we're gonna wrap this video up so I can start editing while you uh, finish the last pair. But eight's a big number. What's the most we've finished in a day before? five and i was like hauling ass that day right so i don't know what that makes today <laughs> <laughs> today we went above and beyond and we did it pretty quick too i mean yeah when we get into our assembly line it works out pretty well uh, but that was the first thing we accomplished and we'll talk a little bit more about that but uh the second thing i accomplished if you look right here uh this ikea bag is just full of every cable in the house and now does this seem a little obsessive to you does this seem crazy i bet there's going to be a great deal of either gamers or resellers or like me, a combination of both, those two things put you square in the category of too many cables all over the house. Um, power cables, so every time we bring home any console, it's almost always without its cables. So there is even uh, a bag full of rando power adapters. Uh, I have a couple of every single Xbox 360. 360. Pa power supply, I can't talk. Um, I got a bag full of Wii peripherals. That's just Wii power supplies. Wii's one of our best sellers. Uh, and there's even console stuff in here. So like there's a bag full of, it's not even really a bag full of controllers, it's a bag full of controller parts. <laughs> it's what that is yeah, I, and it took me a good couple hours yesterday and a couple hours today 
uh, to get all those in one place. But they're in one place now, so now when we bring home consoles or anything else to test and resell, this is like the master bag. That's awesome. And this was a huge accomplishment, because I kind of said this earlier in the video, but I haven't said this to you yet, about nine of those baskets that we keep stuff in. It's a lot of room. That's a lot. I did get rid of some. We, yeah. It, it, this is what the Goodwill bins will do to you. It's a huge plus because we got all of this for, you know, by weight. This, we probably spent $20 on this total and it's hundreds of dollars worth of product. Uh, but you end up with too much of it. Like, I, there, it's not realistic that we need that many Wii Power Supplies. <laughs> but we have them. And uh, they're not worth nothing. If we get too cluttered with those, I could actually trade those in at the trading store. True. For, for a few good bucks. But that was my major accomplish for, accomplishment for the day. Uh, let's talk about these jeans just a little bit. I think probably the number one most requested thing on our channel is just more of a closer look at your jeans. Yeah. Which today will pretty much serve as the best we can do. Uh, you know, we're not gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial how to do this, that's just not the business we're in. But grab a pair there, let's talk about a couple. Uh, these are, are all these done done? That one is done done. They pretty much just need to be lit rolled and packaged up. Yeah. So that one is a half and half. That's the Joker pair. Yes. <laughs> and this is a pretty traditional color blocking style. This is my original design. So um, the first colors I offered were black and blue and blue and blue. And so this is a new color option, which has been pretty popular, but um, the uh, stone wash and black. Yeah. Very popular, but a little bit more difficult to fulfill. Yes. Uh, because this is a Sometimes what we advertise, it can be a little bit difficult, difficult to communicate with our, with the people buying from us. Sometimes this, these jeans aren't a certain color. They're, they're, these are faded. Yes. They're not, you know, I mean, what do you call this color? I call it stonewash, um, but it is just a faded black jean. Right. And not that, you know, there's plenty of faded black jeans out there for us to get, but uh, we've had to kind of step up our communication with our buyers to let them know, you know, what you're looking at in the picture is the example pair. There is a certain uh, amount of headroom you should allow with your expectations for different colors and fade. Yeah. Because it can be a little darker, a little lighter. But by and large, they look about like that. Yeah. Do you have any other styles here? I do. So I've got um, the black and white, which is one of the most requested ones. Oh, that's a big pair. It is. That's like almost big enough for me. <laughs> I think they're 42s. Okay. But um, those are really cool. These were for a while like my absolute most popular. Mm -hmm. But the black and blue is probably second most popular. And then the gray and black is actually becoming also a contender for most popular. I can see why this is amongst the most popular because it's definitely the highest contrast. Yeah. I we always hesitated well even more so with these i mean you look at that there's not as much contrast there but if you're really into blue denim you're gonna like this however yeah. it's kind of surprising how often people are into these next i feel like next to no contrast yeah i mean it's there mm -hmm. but it's subtle it's very subtle but people like them i mean we don't sell as many as those as you know the dark blue light blue but people do ask for them yeah uh, i mean i feel like if you're wearing a bold t-shirt wearing the black and white contrast is going to be a lot of patterns. Right. So the like more subtle two-tone blue is pretty nice for like those bold graphic tees. Right. Well, that's awesome. If you have any more questions about our custom work, definitely let us know. Uh, if you want to put your eyeballs on the work that we do, uh, the links to our Depop are below all our videos. I'm not saying that to get you to go buy any, um, but we have a lot more than this. If you have interest and want to see it, there's definitely more examples of this kind of thing over on our Depop pages. If you do want to buy some clothes from us about this channel, then definitely go to the link below and check out our merch. We just dropped some new merch yesterday. Thank you to everyone who bought some of our brand new Trash Panda shirts. Uh, we sold quite a few today. I think we ended up at about 15. So That's crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to see you guys' pictures. When you do get your merch, definitely post some pictures on Instagram or something or over on our Discord. Hashtag them, hashtag Trash Life. And then the rest of you that didn't buy any merch, that's still cool. But do post your pictures of your social media, of your... I cannot talk tonight. <laughs> this is... It's... You know what it is? The picking has fried my brain. <laughs> post pictures of your thrift finds on Instagram, on our Discord. Hashtag them. Hashtag trash life. It doesn't have to be just thrift. Found something in the trash? Cool. Trash life. If you find something in the yard sale? Cool. Trash life. 
We want to see it. We want to know what you got. And then come for our live shows on, when do we do them? Sunday night? Sunday night. 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to start doing uh, every now and then. Not all the time, but often we're going to do some merch giveaways by looking up those hashtags. If we see you post something cool, we're going to reward it with some Trash Panda merch. But that's it. Anything else before we get out of here? Um, don't forget to subscribe. Do you feel as accomplished as I do? We did a lot today. We did. <laughs> I feel very, uh, very proud of how much we've gotten done. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks for picking. I, my picking hand is strong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us today and putting up with us while we do a little work around the house. We'll try to get back to some regular thrifting tomorrow. Although no promises because we've still got 10, 12 more pairs to make. So maybe <laughs> we'll just do round two tomorrow. But at any rate, we do post daily videos on this channel. So definitely come back tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button before you go. If you haven't already, help us get to 15,000 subs. We're on our way there. We're zooming. Uh, see you tomorrow, guys. And until then, peace out.